The name the Aga Khan addressed thousands of his, his Miley followers at BC Place, but not before stopping for lunch with some Vancouver notables. As Renew Bakshi reports, his people came from far and wide just for a glimpse where we live. Come from UK, from London? Just for this. Just for this. In fact, the Sunani family has followed the Aga Khan around the world. I don't know how, how many times I've seen him, but I went to loads of countries. Today they find themselves at the Pan Pacific where their leader is meeting our premier. The hotel has been preparing for weeks. Who would you compare him to with other guests that have stayed here and you've had to do this type of work? Um, as far back as Princess Diana um, in 1986, so she was here for 10, uh, 10 days during Expo. For 15 million Ismailis, the Aga Khan is the ultimate in royalty. He arrived last night to the love of thousands of followers. Ismailis believe he's a direct descendant of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. His Highness is in Vancouver as part of his Golden Jubilee celebration. And before his big event at BC Place, he dined with a few Vancouver notables. Something that some people here may not know is His Highness is actually an Olympian. More than that, he's an Olympic skier. Premier Campbell said that I had uh, skied in the Olympic Games. He forgot to tell you it was nearly 50 years ago. <laughs> so uh, I don't think there's much credit for that. But there's a lot the Aga Khan can take credit for. In his 50 years as the Ismaili leader, he and his community have raised billions of dollars to build rural communities, hospitals, schools, and housing for the poor. In fact, the Ismaili community is known as one of the most generous in the world. I want to express today our gratitude to Canada for the wonderful things that you have done for us in the past, the wonderful things that I see ahead, and to tell you that Canada is a partner of choice for us, has been and will continue to be. After his luncheon, he addressed his people at a packed BC place. What a special day to reflect on what he represents and what we, what we all strive for. It really teaches um, a lot of great things of, of what to be in, in life, what to be a great, how to be a great person and, and what to believe in and how to share that compassion with others. We waited really long for today and uh, we're so happy and excited and in our best clothes. And for some, just a glimpse was enough. He was going forward, then he looked back and he acknowledged that, yes, you are there. It was really exciting and really nice to see. Vancouver is the Aga Khan's last stop in Canada. Renu Bakshi, CTV News. And a reminder.